All right, Johnny, besides buying a new house, moving to a new country, starting a new job, and having your first baby, what's new? Uh, yeah, I mean, you just nailed it uh, right on the, I mean, everything's brand new, uh, um, but exciting stuff for me and my family, and uh, it's, been, it's been a whirlwind. Okay, so we're going to go step by step and get you caught up on what's been a crazy summer for you. The decision to leave Calgary. Mm -hmm. I, I've lived in Ohio my whole life. I know the national narrative has always been, why would anyone ever want to move to Ohio? I've heard that my whole life. So why did you want to come to Columbus? Yeah, uh, for me personally, um, I did a lot of research. I, I talked to a lot of past players and people who've lived in Columbus area, and I've just heard so many great things. And, uh, you know, leaving Calgary to come to Columbus was uh, more of like a family kind of decision for me. And uh, we wanted to be close to home close to family here and um, and it kind of just uh, Columbus kind of had the vibe for me and my wife we've always uh, kind of quiet people you know and uh, it seems like a kind of a quiet little little city and uh, the outskirts you know we have a nice little house in the backyard and you know white fence so it, it, it's 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 uh, suits us really well and we really feel comfortable here and uh, we really enjoying it so far have you seen some of the jokes and shots people have taken have you seen the Calgary news anchor what he said yeah, I mean, I, I see, I see all the stuff. I think, I mean, I could have sworn yesterday someone told me that some Michael Bubbly guy. <laughs> Michael Bublé did. Bublé, I don't even know. Canadian gonna, singer took a shot. Yeah, I heard it, and I'm like, geez, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I can't get away from them right now. They just keep uh, giving me a hard time. But um, you know, that's all in the past. You know, it's all noise. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to, to be here in Columbus and. Uh, the amount of people coming up to me around the city, you know, whether it's grocery store, Starbucks, you know, I was in Walgreens the other day and a young lady came up to me and we're so excited to have you here. So um, those are things that I get excited for and it just shows me that I'm in the right, the right spot. I would say I'm going to boycott Michael Buble for you, but I've been doing that for 40 years. So I'm just, just going to keep on keeping <laughs> right, on. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so from a hockey standpoint, what about this team drew you to Columbus? Yeah, I mean, they have a really, really good young group of guys. Um, you know, they're core guys like Mooner and, and Wrensky. Uh, you know, guys have been here for a while and um, obviously really, really great, smart players have been in the league for a while now. And then, I mean, some of the young players coming up, uh, you know, you can up and down the list. I mean, um, you know, really, really good players are going to be have long careers here in this in this league, I think. And uh, to be able to chance to play with these guys and kind of just build something together is, is something that I'm really looking forward to. It's been widely reported that you took less money to come here. Is that accurate? Could you have gotten more money elsewhere? Yeah, I probably could have gotten more money somewhere, but I mean, it's just money. I mean, it's, uh, you know, my happiness and being with my family and close to home is the most important thing to me. You can give me any blank check or any amount of money. It's not going to change for me. It's, uh, I'm big in the family. My family's uh, super close and that, that's the most important thing to me. The good news is that just under 10 mil a year, if we put you on a fixed budget, we can make it work here. Yeah, I think, I think I'll be all right. So <laughs> you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Johnny hockey. Anytime your first name's Johnny, your last name is going to be sport. He plays. Are you cool with the name Johnny hockey? Because this is a new city. If you want to hit yeah. the reset button, we can. Do we yeah. like Johnny hockey? Yeah, I like it. I mean, I kind of came out of college, um, kind of came out of nowhere with Johnny Football winning the Heisman that year, and then I won the same award for hockey the, the next year. So I uh, got big in, co in college and kind of stuck with me. So uh, if people want to call me a perfect. If they don't, they just call me Johnny. Uh, either or, I'm pretty easy. I heard a rumor that you trademarked. Yeah. Johnny Hockey, is that true? And if so, how does that work? Like if I say Johnny Hockey during the highlights, do I owe you 50 cents? How does that work? <laughs> Yeah, I did it. Um, I don't know what it does for me. I have no idea. But my agent said uh, it's smart to do it. I think people are coming out with T-shirts and putting profound language on T-shirts with my name. And he's like, let's just do it to protect you. And uh, so I did it. And uh, I think I got a little bit of backlash because people thought I tried to make some money out of it for myself. But uh, it was just to protect myself and, uh, you know, make sure, uh, you know, yeah, just to protect myself pretty much. So I can't sell my Johnny hockey t-shirts out of the trunk of my car. Cease and desist yeah. as of right now? No, I, I mean, I guess I'll let some people do it. That's very nice to me, so we'll see. Okay, so the new baby. I mean, my goodness. New job, new city, new baby. What's it been like now that you have a little girl? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, you know, I was just talking to my wife the other day. It was, I was, it's crazy how, you know, from that one second, you know, it's how much you can love some something. And, uh, um, 
it was uh, it was a crazy experience. It was a really cool experience. Me and my wife kind of went through it together, um, and we're super excited. She's uh, you know she's super healthy. She's back home with us, and uh, she sleeps a lot during the day and up throughout the night. So got to try to get her adjusted to that schedule before the season starts. But um, yeah, we're super happy and we're we're very very lucky. As far as enjoying Columbus, have you had a chance to do that yet, or has it been too much hockey and go home yeah. baby stuff? Yeah, it's. Uh, I haven't been able to enjoy it as much as I would like. I, I got to golf a couple times, but uh, you know, coming to Columbus, there's an empty house, and my wife was due in a week and a half, so we kind of just hightailed it to try to set the house up and, and get everything organized there. And then the baby came, and then family came to see the baby, and now the season's starting. So, um, you know, hopefully we get a little downtime here, maybe throughout the season. You know, get a couple of days off and. Just, Try to you know explore the city and stuff like that. So you mentioned the new house. I love this story. Mm -hmm. Oliver Bjork's van gets traded. He has to sell a house. Mm -hmm. You buy his house. How did that whole transaction take place? Yeah, uh, you know, talk to the team. Um, you know, it's it's stressful time when whether you get traded or you're coming to a new team. And um, you know, it, it kind of worked out the best for both of us. You know, he you know he helped me come in here. You know, sold his house to me. And I, uh, you know, sometimes it can be a pain selling houses and. I'm sure he wanted to get rid of it as quick as possible and get you know started on a, on a fresh start in Seattle. So um, kind of worked out both for the best of, for both of us, and uh, you know he was uh, really easy to work with. So no fight over closing costs. You guys were cool. No, 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 not at all. It was just uh, let's get this done, bang, and then it took uh, a couple weeks and it was all, it was all done. Okay, let's get you out talking hockey here. Yeah. Expectations. I've never seen hype like this around a team. A rebuild process suddenly became very, very fast. How good can this team be? I think we're going to be really good. Um, obviously, like I said, I mean, we're a young team and uh, we can we, we have some learning to do. But um, I think Lars has done a great job with training camp here and kind of bringing our group together. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to you know start the season, try to get off on the right foot and, you know, string along some wins and, and kind of just learn as, as the season goes on. And, uh, you know, I think we have a, a good enough group to, to surprise some people in this league.